Hi, and welcome to this year's session, 5 Support Debugging Tool Features You Should Be Using Today with Microsoft Dynamics GP. The Support Debugging Tool is a collection of utilities geared towards simplifying the administration and troubleshooting of your Microsoft Dynamics GP environment. Support Debugging Tool is available for versions 9, 10, and 2010, currently via Partner Source. This is, you should contact your partner to obtain a copy. The product itself is available free of charge, however you may incur in some uh, service charges from your partner to implement the tool. Support Debugging Tool was written by my dear friend David Mosgrave. He's an escalation engineer with the Microsoft Dynamics GP Asia Pacific support team and currently located in Australia. The current release version is build 15 with build 16 currently undergoing testing and uh, writing of the manual. Build 16 should be fairly um, uh, should be out fairly soon, and it will be the version I'll be demonstrating here today. Support debugging tool offers uh, two modes of operation: you have the standard mode and the advanced mode. The standard mode are considered features that everyday users can safely operate in their environment. And the advanced mode enables features for the system administrators, consultants, power users alike. For our demo today, we will be looking at five standard features you and, and an end, as an end user can take advantage of. Those features include the resource information, uh, security profiler, we'll show you how to safely and nicely capture screenshots, and uh, send emails to your administrators. Um, in addition, we will get a glimpse at what administrators will do on their side and how that plays into the whole equation. Um, without further ado, let's begin our support debugging tool demonstration. If you have support debugging tool installed on your environment, you should be able to find it today under Microsoft Dynamics GP Tools and uh, support debugging tool will appear at the, um, at the bottom of the menu. You can also hit Ctrl D on your keyboard and Control D will enable the control panel of the support debugging tool currently being displayed on my screen. If you go under options, you should see the different options that we will be talking about today. Resource information, security profiler, capture screenshots, send emails, and a fifth option is the ability to log um, uh, is the ability to log uh, the typical Dex SQL log, Dexterity script uh, login, Dexterity script profiling, and new for version or build 16 is the ability to ma record macros as well. For now, let's check out the resource information option. Resource information replaces the traditional resource descriptions available today in your Microsoft Dynamics GP environment under the Tools menu and the Resource Descriptions. With Resource Descriptions, you can usually inquire information about tables, fields, and windows. However, it's not too much of a friendly environment. So let's take quickly here um, the ability to look at a window and you can see how um, this is by no means user friendly. Whoever has been a part of the application and provides some valuable information um, that um, you know most users have become used to. However, today we'll be demoing the new resource information available in Support Debugging Tool. And for now, I will be talking about um, forms in Windows, uh, tables and fields, report, reports, and security objects. So if we click on forms and Windows. You can actually search a term by the exact match, uh, whether it begins with that um, search criteria that you're entering or contains that search criteria that you're entering. For now, I just want to search something that contains the information that I'm looking for. In addition, I can actually select whether I want my search to be case sensitive or not. Um, let's say I know that my window or form contains customer. If I click on or tab off customer, the system will immediately uh, perform a first uh, search. And as you can see, the customer experience improvement program window 
is the first term in the list. If I click search again, support debugging tool will continue looking for the different um, options that meet, meet my search criteria. And I'm interested for now in customer maintenance. In customer maintenance, I can see that it, the resource ID is 390. If you are a dexterity developer, this information comes in very handy for um, a lot of um, your development work. Now, with the customer maintenance form on the screen, I can choose to see which are the associated tables to that window. I can see that I have uh, 42 tables that are currently associated to that window. And say I'm particularly interested in the RM customer master. I know that's my customer master table. Note that the support debugging tool automatically switches my resource types um, to tables and fields because I have chosen the RM customer master table. With this information, I can choose to display the keys. And I can see that this table has um, eight keys currently associated to it. When I select each key, I'll see the fields that are currently a part of this um, a part of this key. I can also establish whether that key is clustered, um, whether it's a, it allows duplicates, whether it's a primary key, and whether it's a unique key on the um, on the window on the table. Furthermore, if I click on the lookup button. The lookup button will allow me to select um, and see the receivables customer master file, which is the one I'm currently looking at. And I'm highlighting the RM customer master table, which is the one I'm currently looking at. If I were to, if I were interested in finding specific information about a field, I could click on customer number, for example, and furthermore obtain information for that field. Note that support debugging tool will actually include still the table. It will still highlight the uh, the field that I, that I was interested in. It will present the resource ID. But say now I want to understand what tables contain that field. I can click on tables containing that field. And in particular, the system will look up all tables across all dictionaries that contain that field. All dictionaries currently installed on my system. It will also provide me a summary count of the records that are currently a part of that field and it will show me all the tables with their physical name that um, contain that field. So this is our first demo and um, it's certainly a valuable one that uh, shows how support debugging tool is entirely integrated and uh, the transition between uh, fields, tables and forms is very um, dynamic and smooth.